Hey guys, um, this is Arno from Rune Server, and today we're gonna be looking at how to make your own interfaces with ta -da, Photoshop. So let's just kick it off right from the beginning and make a new. Oh God damn it! Make a new picture. Um, these are the settings I have, and it's recommended you have them too. It's in pixels might want to notice that and then click OK there we go this is gonna be our interface right now it's empty and so we want to create a new layer that's not a layer god damn it group and contents um, a new layer a new layer is basically just what it sounds like a new layer now um, you're supposed to search for a sprite dump which is obviously this now I'm gonna leave this sprite dump in the description of this video and you should definitely definitely download this one because it's like the latest revision sprites and very useful now um, I've collected a few sprites which I'm gonna make my interface with so I'm gonna m start off with the edges there we go and the first thing we want to do is put in the, sp the sprite we have and then right click place and then we're gonna just have this first tool and then slide it all the way in the corner now um, now you wanna do this again and you wanna turn this little bastard there we go um, that's gonna be 180 degree there and then we can place that one and put it in that corner you see um, then we're just gonna do the same with this there we go another one boom turn of course um, 180 I'm sorry for my accent by the way um, I'm Dutch, I guess. So, or actually Flemish. Anyway, um, we want to proceed now with the borders. But before we do that, we want to kind of class classify everything. So we're gonna have to make a new group and call this edges, or actually make that frame edges. And we're just gonna select all these four things and drag it into frame edges there we go um, and we're gonna make this transparent background there we go um, want to create a new layer there we go and we're gonna put in the edges of the interface now so there we go we're gonna place that little bastard right there and I'm gonna name my new group um, right edge because obviously this is on the right this one here so there we go mm -hmm. and we're gonna duplicate so you wanna right click your layer and click duplicate then click OK because obviously always putting the sprite in is very time consuming so you can duplicate and then one you just cloned your original sprite and you just can keep going there we go and it's all classified in or actually no it's not yet there we go <sighs> right so now we have the right edge now we're just gonna do the left one um, if you want to rotate a sprite you always have to put in a new one um, blame Adobe for that one not me uh, there we go 180 place BAM um, forgot to make a new group there um, left edge mm. there we go wanna duplicate there we go and then we just wanna drag this there there we go now I'm just quickly gonna make a new layer, make a new group called 
below edge. Which is obviously going to cover this part. Um, there we go. Um, I'm saying um way too much. Actually, this is my first video ever. So I hope you guys can bear with me. Okay, so now we have the sprite here. Uh, we want to place this. There we go. Just the same old shit again. Uh, la, la, la. Oh, damn it, I said. Ah, uh, again. Troll low. Um, oh, my God. We just keep duplicating. And actually, if you want to do it faster, you can copy all these ones and just multi m duplicate multiple times and see. You can have a lot you can have a lot bigger momentum here and there we go we don't want to touch the frame right there and like I said if we want to rotate we need a new layer so we're gonna call actually that one's the upper shit <laughs> Up. I'm so I'm doing so bad you guys would be like dude this is the first time he's doing Photoshop Damn. Rotate that little bastard. Um, place, and there we go. Put it in below edge. Duplicate that bitch. There we go. And just duplicate two, because I don't want to be bothered doing a lot of work. There we go. Bam. We already have half of our interface. This is actually the frame. Now, now is actually the the time where you need to decide what you want to do with your interface. Um, I'm just gonna make a standard one, which is gonna be with a texture. This is basically gonna be your background. But if you see, look, um, it goes above your frames. So, we're going to quickly put this out. And here is how it works. Um, you have a certain order in here. And everything that's more up also goes up in your picture. So, if we put texture down there, boom. Your texture is below the edge now. Um, I'm going to make a new group again, saying texture background put the texture in and then just keep duplicating and filling up that space there's really nothing to it um, by the way this is um, hard, no hard coding at all we're gonna be teaching ha learning how to actually do it cache wise which is probably the best way you do it. The only guy I've seen doing that properly is Badger. Um, props to you, Badger. He helped me out a lot. He taught me how to add hoovers, hovers, whatever. 